I'm like, never sit this way again. And then she moves. Hey, I want to read it. No, no. I want to read it. Let Brenda read it. Can I read it? Should I read it out loud? Can I read it out loud? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm reading this out loud. Hey, please. Is this not blank? This is my name. Can we all focus on me for now? No. It's all about you. Gee, I'll be We want to hear it. A tattered old quilt. Some might look at this quilt and think what a ragged piece of fabric and dismiss the worn out squares and batting all lumped to one side. The material was washed so many times it is thin and shredding. The seams are ripping out and ties are not doing their job. They might look at this quilt and think it is something for the garbage. When I look at this quilt, I see a labor of love. Incredible. Did Grandma beat? You're gonna make me cry. <laughs> I knew yeah. you would. I didn't know. I, I'm doing a I thought quilt. this was like a pre-done poem. You threw a Grandma beat, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I might even shed one. Did Grandma beat? Uh, yep. Because I know, I know how much <laughs> my wife put into that. Did Grandma B sew this to use on a spare bed, or did she use it to keep our dad warm on a cold winter's night? Or did she make it in anticipation of one of her many grandchildren coming to stay for a sleepover? When I saw this quilt, I think about the fabric of each square, where the pieces of an old dress that she had worn on a Sunday to church, or an old apron she wore while baking grand meals to feed her family. Perhaps if each square could talk, it would tell us quite a story. I see stitching that looks like it was done by hand, some that may have fixed a square after a period of use. I run my hand along each seam and be closer to Grandma, perhaps like holding her hand. I cannot help but feel her love wrapped around me, just holding this blanket. This quilt was loved and used, and it wasn't sewn to be placed in a package to be sitting on a shelf. I hope by repairing this quilt, you can hold it close on a cold winter's night and admire each square, which may be patched and fixed and feel closer to someone we love. Now this quilt not only represents the past we love to reminisce about, it represents the present of giving this to you in front of our family. It creates a memory for us all. It also it's represents sad. the future as you use it to cover a bed where your daughter's future son-in-laws and grandchildren will sleep. Love, Amy. Oh, You're welcome. I don't get it. What is Oh, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I know 